I, I just realized we've been talking, but I have managed to completely avoid <laughs> the central issue in the book. So uh, let's let's I'm gonna let you tackle it. Okay. Um, I guess for me, the book the book is chiefly about um, the idea of um, replication, I guess, and the idea of how we see um, it may be like a postmodern. Um, you know, uh, image saturated world. How we see the nature of what of, of truth and what a kind of a true experience really is, um, and what is lost when that experience is replicated, whether it's on stage or reenacted or um, or or just kind of channeled into a into a new form. Um, but that's all very thinky, <laughs> and probably doesn't sound that um, that exciting as the premise for a novel. Um, but I guess just plot-wise, the, the the plot of the novel centres around a, a sex scandal at a girls' high school that ends up having um, a catalytic effect on all the um, on all the girls kind of on the periphery of the scandal who aren't actually um, directly affected, but they the 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 scandal ends up kind of generating a kind of longing in them that they that they they wish that they had been affected so they begin creating kind of fictions around the event there has been some inappropriate relationship with um, the music teacher at the school mm -hmm. mr mr Saladin yeah and the nature of that we spend the whole book trying to actually understand and and it really does get kind of covered over by everything but the truth well, I, I guess for me, I'd, I kind of don't, I'd, I think that, I, I guess I kind of resist the idea that there is one truth that everyone's just trying to figure out. I know that that's the kind of the premise of the book, but for me, all of the the imaginings and the reenactments and the experiences of the people that aren't actually present but are trying to imagine themselves present um, are just as potent and just as feeling and just as real as the actual event itself. Um, so yeah, I, I would say that that all of the versions are kind of true. I think that's one of the the w just one of the feelings I remember about being a teenager most um, intensely was the feeling of that something exciting was happening in some room very near to the room that I was in, but I was not invited. There's that that kind of I mean you, I don't know. You just I feel like you feel so much as a teenager, and I think it's some sometimes easy to forget that as you get older, that the feelings that teenagers feel are just are, are really extreme. It's just they're not, um, they don't have the processing power to be able to actually um, tamp them down. And so you get these just extreme kind of, um, uh, you know, outbursts of feeling that are coupled with this just intense alienation and loneliness. Um, so for me, the the reactions of the girls to the scandal are just as real and just as important as actually what happened. Which for me, I don't. I mean, I don't really know. Um, I never wrote a scene with Victoria and Mr. Saladin together, um, and I, I guess I don't really. Um, I don't really know what happened. <laughs> I imagine. I imagine it was um, probably less interesting than everybody around the scandal made it out to be. <laughs> the, the title, the rehearsal. Mm -hmm. Does that come from? Um, Life is not a rehearsal, or where do you get that from? Oh, well, I guess, I mean, there is one line in the book where um, the saxophone teacher is talking to one of the, um, the mothers of all, of all of her students, so her, her mother's kind of, or the, or the mothers end up coming to her office kind of periodically during the book and um, lamenting about the sad side of affairs at the school. Um, and she says to one of the mothers, um, just remember that these years of your daughter's life are only a rehearsal for everything that comes afterwards. And um, I think that for me the idea of the rehearsal was just a really potent um, example of this kind of overlay that I'm trying to play with in the whole book, which is that um, a rehearsal really is the real thing. Like if you have two actors and they're rehearsing and say they kiss on stage, they really are kissing and their bodies are really there and they really are saying the lines. But there's some kind of element of authenticity that isn't there because it's not a real performance. And so even if it's identical, like, or as identical as it can be to the performance on the opening night, there's still something about it that's not what we would call true. There's, there's something, um, 
I don't know. I, I, I guess I was also interested in the idea that a, a rehearsal is something that is not that doesn't typically have an audience, whereas this book does have an audience, and yet it is kind of still a rehearsal for itself. I don't. I don't really believe that the, you know, your teenage years are the rehearsal for your real life. I think that there's nothing. There's nothing unreal about the experiences that you're having there, and the idea of kind of. Um, I mean, teenagerhood. Um, or like adolescence as a a period of of time in a person's life is such a a new phenomenon. It's such a um, it's like barely centuries old, and it's, it's such a product of this of of privilege really that you know we don't need to make our children start working when they're eight years old or ten years old, um, and so we can kind of prolong this state of childhood in a very strange way, so that they these children who are not getting married at 12 and 13 and 14 um, or these adolescents can experience this this kind of replica life of the life that they are soon going to lead. They can go out and get drunk and they can experiment with drugs and, and um, um, you know have sexual experiences and, and all this kind of stuff but there's no consequences for it so that, that, is, that is like a rehearsal. If you, if you screw up your lines there's no consequences, there's nobody watching um, which is a very strange idea really um, to me, <laughs> that 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 that's something that 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 our children now nowadays are, are gifted this kind of space between the ages of about twelve and twenty two where they can really they can make mistakes and not have to answer for them, um, which is it seems very strange, um, but also fascinating. The book is the rehearsal. I've been speaking with the author Elmer Catton, and the rehearsal is published by McCombed and Stewart.